Hey guys, Charity here, welcoming you to our Advanced Kids Experience, where we're all about teaching children the heart of God, the Word of God, and the character of God. I hope that you've had an absolutely amazing week and you've been practicing resting and spending time with your family. Why don't we dive straight into some amazing learning today all about the Ten Commandments and God's amazing purpose for our lives. In our freedom acronym, we are up to the letter E. That's right, we've been through the letter F, the letter R, all about Freedom in the beginning, rescuing his chosen people, and now we are up to the letter E, which is all about examples of sin. The Ten Commandments, which we're going to dive into and talk a little bit more about in a moment. But they were the rules that God gave Moses for the Israelites. Now, there are only a few of them because there's like over 600 laws that God gave to Moses. but. We're going to talk about a few that we think are really, really important in order to be a super cool kid and love Jesus with all our hearts. So I hope by now that you understand a little bit more about what a commandment actually is. Remember, back in the Old Testament, they were a set of rules, of over 600 rules that God felt like the Israelites needed because they were always disobeying him, always doing wrong. And he was like, you know what? If I give them a guideline, maybe they will listen and honor me and respect me a little bit more. The Israelites, after a little while, I mean, they kept disobeying God, which is the sad thing about it all, but it means that we get a pretty cool guide of how to live our lives today. The really amazing thing is that Jesus came in the New Testament to pay for all of our sins when he died on the cross, which means we don't have to follow these laws if we wanna get into heaven, we just have to receive Jesus into our hearts, but if we want to live a life honoring to God, then we should really know what's important to God. So we're talking about seven, seven of the commandments that we think are super, super important to be an extra cool kid that loves Jesus. Remember, we've already been through a few. We've been through three so far, and today we are up to number four. Can you remember what the three that we've already talked about are? That's right, we talked about only worshiping God, don't use his name for bad, and remember to rest. We've talked all about worshiping God, using his name for good things because he is powerful, and resting and spending time with our family. And today, we are gonna learn all about how to honor our parents. But first, let's go over our actions that we've learned in the last couple of weeks. Let's do them together. Are you ready? Why don't you stand on your feet and join me today? Ready? One, two, three, let's go. Only worship God. Don't use his name for bad. Remember to rest. Honor your parents. Don't hurt others. Don't steal and love your neighbors. Man, aren't those such cool, cool examples of how to live our lives. Let's dive in today and talk a little bit about what it means to honor our father and our mother or our parents and caregivers. So let's dive into what it means to honor your parents or for some of you, your caregivers, the people that are taking care of you right now. We're gonna dive into the Bible and jump into the moment when God gave this commandment to Moses. It's in Exodus 20. So as we go through our verse of the day, why don't you repeat after me? Ready? Let's go. Exodus 20, verse 12. Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long and blessed by the Lord your God. Wow, isn't that awesome? 
But sometimes these big words and old language can be hard for us to remember. So let's change it up a little bit and say it in a way that's gonna be really easy for us to hold on to. Are you ready? Repeat after me. Honor your mum and your dad every day and every night. This means to listen and treat them right. Wow, that was so good. Now, why don't you say it with me all together? Ready? One, two, three, let's go. Honor your mum and your dad every day and every night. This means to listen and treat them right. So good, everybody. All right, I have an amazing activity that we're gonna do right now to help you remember that super cool verse rhyme that we just learned. So what you're gonna do is your amazing leaders have already pre-prepared some cool Lego blocks that have different words from the scripture that we just talked about. So they're gonna be stuck on these amazing mega Lego blocks. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab those blocks and you're gonna stack them in order so that the scripture reads out properly. So the first word would be honor and the last word would be Exodus 20 verse 12 all the way down. Do you guys think you can do that? I think you've got it. You're gonna be amazing. Let's get stacking. So, why do you think it's important to honor our mum, our dad, our caregivers, our aunties, our uncles, anybody that's older than us and taking care of us? I think that it's because God finds it so important that we be trained up in the ways of the Lord. You know, there's scriptures in the Bible that say that if you train up a child in the ways of the Lord, they will never depart it. And so God created us for our parents so that they could do that for us. Plus, I mean, God's our father in heaven too, and he wants us to honor him. So by honoring our parents, we are honoring God. It's also about obeying our parents. When we honor our parents, we're more likely to listen to the things that they say to us and the things that they say the way that they ask us to obey them is what helps to keep us safe. It's what helps us to keep our hearts nice and soft and helps us to grow up loving God and loving Jesus. We have an absolutely amazing video that's gonna play right now that explains it in a really, really cool way. But the main points are that God created us to come to earth in those specific parents that we were born into. God puts people in our lives so that we can grow and we can learn. And if we honor them, then God will honor us with blessings and grace the way that he always has. Isn't that absolutely amazing? So remember to honor your parents today. Let's watch this really cool video that will help you understand a little bit more about what that means. Why should we obey our parents? God is very pleased when you obey the people who take care of you, whether it's a mom, dad, grandparent, or someone else who looks after you. Exodus tells us to honor our father and mother, so we know it pleases God when we listen to and respect our parents. When they ask us to do something, like chores around the house for example, we should think about the chores that they do for us. Maybe your dad prepares meals or fixes broken things for you. Maybe your mom keeps your clothes clean or helps you with your homework. Everybody needs to work hard and do their best to keep a household running smoothly. Cleaning your room, doing your homework, or helping with yard work are ways to do your part. In Acts, we read about the early Christians who worked together like a family. Everyone shared what they had and took care of each other. You can be sure there was a lot of listening and respect. 
This is how it should be when you honor your father and mother, especially since they have more wisdom and experience than you do. In fact, Proverbs tells us, My child, obey the teachings of your parents and wear their teachings as you would a pretty hat or a lovely necklace. In other words, the lessons that God and our parents teach us are valuable and we should treasure them all our lives. So why should we obey our parents? Because God told us to honor our father and mother, so we know that listening, respecting, and obeying pleases Him very much. If we are happy to obey our father in heaven, then we should also be happy to listen to and obey our earthly parents. God loves you and knows what's best for you, just like the people who take care of you every day. Wow, wasn't that awesome? Make sure that you go away from today practicing how to obey and honor your parents. Even if it's just simple things like doing the dishes when they ask or cleaning your room or setting the table, or maybe it's bigger things like not going out on the road or not running away when you really want to do something because honoring our parents and obeying them keeps us safe. All right, well, that's me for this week. I hope that you've learned some absolutely amazing gold nuggets to help you be a super cool kid who loves Jesus. We're gonna be back next week with another commandment, learning all about what it means to be a follower of Jesus and the purpose that he has on our lives. Don't forget to practice obeying and honoring your parents and have an absolutely amazing week helping the world get to know Jesus. Bye.